This is a mystery Lego haul with loads of different sets, minifigs, and even some fan mail. And we're gonna be opening all of this today, so with that said, hit that subscribe button and let go. Now, this is a bag full of a bunch of different minifigures. I'm not too sure how many, but I got them at a Lego convention. I literally just bought them in a giant lot at a pretty good price. Uh, and I gave some of them away, but we have a lot in here. So I'm just going to reach in and we're going to take a look at all the figures we get. Some of them are in special packaging, so we'll try to move through relatively quickly. Uh, but starts off with a Bomb Squad Trooper. I think I paid $2 for this, which is pretty good for a clone. Uh, look at that. That's a nice boy. And I'm going to try to move through these relatively quickly because we have a lot to go through. Next up, we have a Cursed Anakin minifigure. This is from the Clone Wars. There's a, hopefully going to be a lot of... Clone Wars minifigs in here. Uh, as you guys know, I'm a huge Clone Wars buff. It's obviously like my childhood, like many of yours. Um, yeah, like there's Anakin. That's very cool. We'll put him next to the Bomb Squad Trooper. I think that's another one right there. I, I want to start a little army. Now, for those who know, this was also two bucks. Uh, I hate Bomb Squad Troopers <laughs> with a passion, but literally, if you find any Clone Trooper for two bucks, you, you can't say no to it. Uh, speaking of things I can't say no to, there's another clone trooper. I don't know how much this one cost because I took it out of the bag. Okay, it's another clone. This is a 501st trooper. I think I negotiated down on this one. I don't know if I paid the full five on it. Obviously, not in production at the moment, but still a great thing to have. I love 501st clones almost as much as I love Kermit's uh, Cursed Son with Miss Piggy. That is a Gamorrean, uh, which I find kind of funny because like they're just kind of goofy looking all right next up we're gonna go in there uh, and we have a mandalorian this is the 2011 version he's missing a jetpack um they, they came in battle packs and stuff they're pretty common minifigs um so they're not super hard to come by nowadays unlike other ones like this this is endor princess leia um <laughs> that's a nice little figure you don't get torsos like that much anymore uh, it's very classic, very, very classic minifigure, obviously. Uh, as well as we have this guy. I, I like him because he'd probably go with this uh, clone trooper over here. I don't know the droid's name, but he's still pretty cool. All right, I'm going to get all the ones that aren't in bags, so I don't have to keep opening them. Like this guy, this is a Geonosis trooper. Oh, that's great. It's uh, the best design of clone trooper. The, the clones peaked here. Look at that beautiful helmet and torso design. They peaked. Uh, I'm sorry, that's a personal opinion. I think those are the best looking ones. Obviously, that's not my favorite one. And then here we have a clone with some helmet holes, which people, I guess, used to like, but now, now they don't like helmet holes. It's the thing it's seen better days. <laughs> um, that's, that's very interesting. Um, happy to have it, at least. Then we have this guy. This is a uh, top one that I guess was a $1 figure. Tusken Raider, very common in battle pack. I think they came in a battle pack. They came in advent calendars, uh, Mandalorian sets. So nothing crazy with those guys. There might even be a few of these in there. Um, let's see what else we got. All right, another classic minifig in the form of classic old, uh, you know, Qui-Gon. I was gonna say old Ben Kenobi, but no, this is just Qui-Gon. Some may reinterpret that as a certain biblical character, <laughs> uh, which it, the minifigure does indeed look like. That's pretty cool. Another Bomb Squad Trooper. That is our third, so we're stacking up two bucks again. Um, Man, you don't find deals on clones like this. I, I want to give a huge thank you to my buddy Waffenbricks, who hooked me up with a lot of these deals. He's a really cool dude, uh, and I like him a lot. All right, let's see. We got another Geonosis clone. This is the Airborne Geonosis clones. Again, these are probably minifigs we'll never see again just because they're not canon. And it was a little out of pocket for LEGO to do back in the day. Now, let's see, does he come with a clone face? Ooh, that's like a hard to find clone face too. All right, we're gonna put that over there. Jeez, this thing is huge. There are just so many minifigs. This guy, I think I got for like three bucks and he comes with the pauldron and the waist cape, which for those who know are pretty darn hard to find. Uh, very happy to have him. Uh, I'm gonna move this droid over here because I wanna be able to line up. I, I'm trying to get some sort of rhyme or reason with this going. I'm looking for another bomb squad. Nope, we got Santa Yoda. Yippee, I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Also, we have Santa Django, who I never owned before, so I was like beyond excited to be getting this one, actually. He comes with the face print, which is very nice. Is that like a special Django face print? I don't know. Uh, missing the jetpack, however, but it does come with the torso and I can make Boba or whoever. 
Very happy to be having that. We're going to tag him on with Yoda at the front of the line. See if we get any more holiday themed stuff as we go on here. All right, look, it's our boy again, but this time he has a cape. Um, it is Qui-Gon Jinn, uh, old variant with a cape. So this is like 1999, which means it's probably close to a 25 year old minifig. I'll put that with the other Qui-Gon back there. Um, maybe I'll lower this table a bit so that way we can do this. Yeah, I have an electric table. It's really kind of cool. Um, all right, we got the new Stormtrooper, uh, the Family Guy Stormtrooper, as many have coined it. I'm also going to move this guy over here just because, well, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> they are kind of goofy looking. I'm not a fan of them. You can't move the helmet around. Lego peaked again in 2014 with the Stormtroopers. I'll see if there are any in here. <laughs> in the meantime, here's the Final First Trooper. Uh, this is the 2020 design, obviously, um, featured around the 501st Battle Pack set. Very nice to have, again, in LEGO. No complaints from me. We'll put that next to this bad boy. Uh, don't know if there are any more of those, but we do have their mom, your mom, no, Kamina. I, where's the your mom figure? Well, here is your mom, and, and here is the Kaminoan clone trooper mom. Um, which is, what's her name? Uh, I, I forgot. It's a Kaminoan. Very cool. I, I like Kaminoans. <laughs> and I was really happy. I knew I needed to get that one because I'm like paranoid they're going to run out of them at some point. And they're going to be hard to find and really expensive figures. Here's another Mando. Dude, we're, we're killing this haul. I'll tell you how much I paid for all these figures. And this isn't even technically all of them. I had a bunch of cheaper ones that were thrown in as well. Um, that's very cool. I like that. All right. Um, Dark Trooper. Dark Trooper, very epic. Epic W's. Um, now these guys, they used to be pretty valuable when they came alone in Moff Gideon's set. Uh, now they are not because, you know, inflation. Um, no, nah, I'm just kidding. They came in a uh, Battle Pack style set. So we're going to be putting him over there. Um, speaking of clone, uh, nothing to do with clones. Speaking of dark here is a um, clone, I guess this is the V-Wing pilot. It, it never got to be an extremely valuable figure or set. It was never really a highly coveted Clone Wars set. Still happy to have it, however. We'll put him there. Like, look at all this beautiful Clone Wars era stuff. You don't see stuff like this anymore. Other than the Kaminoan, this stuff's all pretty classic and the Dark Trooper. Like, this is all pretty, like, original stuff. Uh, we have a Horn Company Trooper over here. And that is very nice. I love these guys. They didn't appear in the Clone Wars very much, but I'm happy to have them. All right. Uh, we got another Tuscan. These were, I guess, $1, which is pretty good. And I negotiated. So, like, he, the pricing is kind of, like, arbitrary on here. So I might have even paid, like, less. Um, all right. Let's see. We got that. That's very nice. Um, all right. There we go. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to get this all coordinated over here. Uh, all right, here we go. Here, ooh, okay. So we got a, a snow trooper, but it looks very faded and not in the bestest of conditions. Oh man, that feels like, like a piece of someone's childhood right there. Oh, that is, that is sad to look at. We'll put him with the storm trooper, because why not, and the boys. Uh, and we'll also pull out this guy. Ooh, another storm trooper, very nice. Family guy trooper. Uh, these came in battle packs a while back. They haven't been in much as of late. All right, we're gonna reach in over here. We have uh, this Obi-Wan. This is one of my favorite Obi-Wans. It came out in a new set. I just, oh man, the printing is gorgeous. I love that. Uh, I hope it comes in more sets. I really, really do like that. All right, here's another Jedi I do not own. It is Nadar Verb. Uh, he is like the uh, Padawan of, uh, what's the green guy's name? <laughs> Not Kiadi Mundi, that, that's the, the, the white guy, um, the green guy, um, Kit Fisto, that's it. I know it started with a K. Really cool, happy to have it. Um, you know, die after one episode, like these guys. These guys just never showed up in Star Wars, period. Uh, but this is another Geonosis clone. Looks like we might get a full battle pack set here, which would be a W, if true. All right, so we're going to stack him over there and get the boys continuing. Uh, and let's see who else we got. We have another Tuscan. So I'm gonna actually move Yoda and Django back a little bit. I'll just put the Tuscan at the front. Cause like the boys, right? We gotta, you gotta keep the gang together. And then we also have this guy. This is a uh, Tai Sen, I think. Um, 
Gray Boy. I'm just going to throw him over here, and he will go with Ekamorian, which is very, very nice. Speaking of Jedi, there is not Luminara, um, what's her name? Barris. that's it, Barris. Um, I think this is the, like, new version, but with legs, like, because it doesn't usually come with legs, I don't think. I'll put her with the other Jedi, just because I don't know where else to put her. And we also, I'm looking in here, we have a 501st Trooper, so I'm going to stick that back in the back with all the other 501st Troopers. Um, all right, we also have this guy. This is a uh, classic, he's a tell because of the yellow, um, speeder bike uh, runner. So I'm gonna put him with the Stormtroopers because we got a little Empire row going here. Bro, this is a great haul so far. So here, I'll drop the number now for how much I paid for like this lot plus everything in there. I, I think I paid around like 260, 250, 260, something like that, which for alone for that I think is not, not bad. Um, got another one of these bad boys. I'm going to move the Horn Company Trooper. These are Bomb Squad Troopers, <laughs> so no wonder nobody wants them. Um, <laughs> but you know, take what you can get, man. Two bucks, no, uh, you, you bet ya. We got another one of these guys. Again, anything, any Star Wars figures for a buck, you have to, you have to, you have to cop, because that's just too good of a deal. All right, other than it's like Finn or like Farm Boy Luke, because like nobody will actually buy it off you, even for a dollar. And like, why waste your money? Oh boy, I did not think we were gonna be getting another one of these. Uh, but it is another Bomb Squad Trooper. I did not realize how many of these I bought. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right, so who do we have to move to keep the, the like squad going? Because we have like a whole squad now. We'll move the 501st Trooper over there. And we'll put this back there. That is very nice. All right, <laughs> uh, the mystery box continues. Yo, 2013 clone. Uh, or 20, 2013? It's hard to tell, like, torso, that, that's a new-ish torso, and, and so is the helmet. Like, I'm, I'm getting guess 2013 on this guy. I, I don't know what other year it would be. Um, so I'll put him over here. I feel like the Mandos are starting to, like, get in the way. So maybe I'll give them their own line uh, they could take up. Uh, in the meantime, we have one of the ARF Troopers. These guys are classic, obviously. Iconic Star Wars stuff right here. Um, I love these clones. Uh, look at that. That's great. Oh, man. That's awesome. I love those. Uh, we're going to reach in. We have old Ben Kenobi, who I don't have a huge use for, to be 100% honest, because, like, I have a handful of them. Uh, I have different versions because Lego's made so many from the one in his hut to the cantina to a bunch of other ones, the land speeder. Uh, so we'll throw him over by Qui-Gon over there. Uh, all right, now moving forward, what, what else we got? We got Sand Vader, that's like Beach Ball Vader. I always loved this minifig because I thought like it, the theming was so just spot on. It comes with the beach ball, it comes with the sandals, or the, uh, the flippers, I guess and he can't stand properly with them on. Look at that, you can get a nice tan in. I like, I like the, the shirt and all that. Oh man, that's great. All right, so what are we gonna do with you? We will put you back with the seasonal boys in the back of the line. Very cool. Uh, bro, look how deep this is. <laughs> this might have to be its own video. We have two whole ep extra boxes to go through. So maybe we should, this is like technically a part two to the curse minifigure video, so like, we're, we're gonna have to make this into three parts because I've been spending far too much money. This is a Geonosin. Oh man, this is so cool. Uh, I love Geonosins. They come with the wings and everything uh, and the cool head mold. Uh, I'm gonna throw them in the back with, uh, I guess, our more alien type figures. Um, oh, that's such a neat figure. Um, all right, we also have another clone. This is the classic. 501st Trooper. The first ever 501st Trooper Lego did back in 2013? One of my, my first clone trooper. I know. I got that ATRT set. That was like a great day in my book. He's gonna go right there. We're gonna go forward. I think I see another Mando here. Yeah, we do. There's a nice another Mandalorian Battle Pack Mando. Very simple. Very, very cool. Alright, let's see who else we got. We have another Anakin. I think this is a more modern, I think that's a 2020 Anakin that came in his Starfighter. Uh, so, is it? No, yeah, it is. That's nice. I haven't seen a, a figure like that in a minute. Uh, I want to put him, like, with this Obi-Wan, because I like this Obi-Wan, so maybe 
Luke Clomore, <laughs> Anakin <laughs> to the back of the line, and we'll put this near new Obi-Wan or whatever, new Anakin and new Obi-Wan, because I think this was the last Anakin we've gotten. They do very sparingly put out Anakin minifigs. All right, oh, this looks, this is classic. This is classic Lego Star Wars. Like when you think Lego Star Wars, you think of this. This is like a Stormtrooper uh, with the backpack and everything from the game. Uh, you know, you, you're, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking the game. And it comes with the classic blaster. Oh man, that is just pure iconic Lego Star Wars. We're gonna, we're gonna just have to start uh, a, a new rose and I'm just gonna start adding to the fronts and backs of them. Speaking of which, another classic Stormtrooper. We're gonna put him right over behind this guy. Ooh, look at that nice torso, very nice. All right, cool. Bro, I think, I think there's already a score for the amount I paid for it. And we still have so much to go. All right, let's go, oh yeah. Oh man, let's go, that's class. That's class. More Bomb Squad Troopers. Oh man, that's crazy, that's crazy. Wow, all right. From my understanding, my, my buddy got them, my buddy Waffen, or Tyler, got them from uh, a friend who was like, you know, selling off his collection or whatever. So he got them at a decent deal. So he gave me a decent deal on them, which was very kind. We got a Wookiee. Uh, I'm just taking them all out of the bag. Um, very nice Wookiee. I like Wookiees a lot. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna send a Wookiee man back there. We're gonna pick out another Stormtrooper. This one looks, again, a little bit sun damaged. Uh, and we might be selling some of these on Whatnot soon, so keep an eye out for that. All right, cool. Let's see, we're gonna move forward. We have another one of these, these pilot, um, these classic Clone Wars pilots. I think they came in like an ARC-170 or something. So that's the second one of those boys. Um, I'm gonna move, who am I gonna move? I'm gonna move the black one over here and we're gonna put you with your brother. So now I have a set of these. It's funny, cause I don't think I ever actually owned either of these. So it's very cool to have them both. And while we're at the pilots, we'll stick with this guy who does have the wrong face, which is very sad, um, but it's still cool to have nonetheless. We're gonna stick him here and we're gonna stick this here and we're gonna, we're gonna put this here. There we go, we have, we have a system going. All right, we're reaching in. Oh, we got the Magma Trooper. Um, or well, the mustard troopers, I think that I don't remember what they're called, um, but they're one of the cooler stormtroopers that we've gotten in recent memory. Uh, they came obviously in a Mandalorian set with Grief Karga and a bunch of those guys. I think I got a Grief Karga in this haul, but I gave it away at the convention as well as a bunch of other stuff. So you'll see some of the footage from that. Over the course of time, I'm not too sure when I'm gonna drop it all, but uh, I'll throw that over there, yes. Hmm. I'll, I'll, actually, I'll, I'll throw it behind these guys because they're like, a more modern trooper. I mean, this has been the more modern line generally. There we go, cool. All right, bro, this keeps going. No way. Oh man. Uh, maybe we'll have to do the other box in a separate video. Um, we got this, another modern stormtrooper. So we're gonna move the modern snowtrooper back and put in the stormtrooper. Uh, and then we also got this bad boy. Now this is a beautiful boy. I like that a lot. We're gonna put him back here somewhere. Vader, very nice. I get chill. Got another Mando, which again, <laughs> all of it's just very nice. I, I like all these figures. They're all like army buildable. They're all good. Other than like some like Obi-Wan, like old Obi-Wan, which you know I don't really have a use for. Like it's, it's pretty good. Uh, like, look, we got a Rebel Stormtrooper right there. Like, who could it, who didn't need that? Like, like, that's just a great thing to add into the collection, into the army. And it comes with a Clone Army Customs Blaster. Like, bro, does it get better than that? Pro probably not. I don't think it gets better than that. Um, all right, we also have a classic officer. We're getting some yellow heads, I'm noticing, as we go on. Um, I find it interesting that a lot of the older minifigures never go up in value. Uh, maybe it's just because they're simplistic. I love the happy little face. That's so nice. You don't see that much on minifigs nowadays. <laughs> we put those two back there. They're chilling. Oh, uh, yes. Another 2013 clone. Uh, or maybe 2017. I'm not, I'm not too sure. Yeah, I think that's 2017. Um, we're going to load up the back lines 
with that. And I'll get them all in order at the end. I'm just kind of doing this. I'm doing like OCD thing right now. Obi-Wan, he's like missing a, a hand. But this is the, uh, it's interesting. So this is the torso from the one we got with the uh, Duel of Mustafar. The face and hair of the one we got, uh, you know, from 20, like 14-ish. And then it has gray hands for some reason. I'll put him in the line with the Jedi at the end there. Uh, and then we also have this one. This one is completely separate. I bought it from JB Brick Fanatics. He designed the Lego uh, K-pop set. Uh, so I bought this off him for five bucks. It's the classic Han Solo set promo thing. Um, it, it's a promo minifig. I just wanted it because I didn't own it and I thought it was cool. Um, so yeah, there's that. I will put that happily over there. I like that a lot. Look at that. Very nice. Okay, bro. Okay, so here we're gonna do mystery. We're just gonna run into the back and see what I grab. All right, we got another, we got, no, that's just a regular TIE pilot. All right, TIE pilot, very, very, very not the most hyped thing ever. Kinda, kinda mid, but what is it mid? Another one of these boys with the backpack and everything. I don't know how he got them in these packages. It's such a pain to get him out. Hey, look at this, all the stuff fell off, like the blaster, this, oh that's crazy. And the arm is really loose, look at that, that's crazy. Alright, so that's not great. Um, but you know, maybe I could, re maybe it's just the arm piece, hopefully it's not the torso and I could fix all that. Alright, we're reaching in again, we got a uh, black, uh, I guess, uh, what, what are they called, Astromex? Sorry, my brain's farting, I've been recording for too long. That's great. Oh man, we're gonna we're gonna put the mechs over here. And while we're over here, let's grab another one. We have another clone trooper. No way. Uh, this is this is an ARF trooper. We're gonna put that there. All right. I'm just gonna move the file first back. Oh bro, I should stop. I should just start stacking. That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna do that at the end. All right. We had another one of these boys. I think this is the third one with the backpack and everything. So it's kind of neat that we're getting this many of them. Um, yeah, so that's cool. Um, yeah, it looks like it has a cracked arm, which, eh, not great. All right, cool. Um, let's, I'm just gonna stack him right here. Oh, nope, he fell. So he's not in great condition. Uh, feet don't work, the arms don't work. Here's one that looks like it works. It is the Sand Trooper. That is very, very nice. Uh, you know, we'll open this up. He comes with a brick arms and everything, and then he does come with the wrong torso. That is Finn's torso from when he was a stormtrooper, so that's a little odd. Uh, I, I did know about that, though, I believe. Uh, all right, let's see what else we got. Another stormtrooper. Um, Jeez, my battery on the camera is running low, and it was fully charged when we started this. Um, so, <laughs> all right, cool. Um, there he is. Rebel Stormtrooper, very nice. We're gonna load him in the back with the other one. Then we're gonna open up the next bag, and it is Yoda. Oh, right, uh, the noise Yoda makes. Uh, it's Clone Wars Yoda, so it's a very nice, classic Star Wars minifig. Uh, I traded that back in my younger days for a white Boba Fett, <laughs> which I think is still the best trade deal I've ever did. Also, here is my buddy Mike and Ike's favorite. He loves the classic clone trooper design uh, the, the, with helmet holes, but like not in the side, on, on the front of it. Oh, that's awesome. That, I got a good deal on that one. I don't know what I paid for it, but I got a good deal on it. And then also here's the Fire Force Jet Trooper. We have, hadn't gotten any of those yet. I was kind of waiting for it. I was like, we've gotten like three Fire Firsts now. So it would make sense for us to have a Jet Trooper. But there he is. So slowly stacking up. Speaking of which, there is another one of those clone gunner pilot bad guys. I'll stack him back over there. That's very nice. And we also have another snow trooper from the new battle pack. He's listed this as a dollar. Just crazy. So for like 250, 260 already. I don't know. Do you guys think I got a good deal? 250, 260 bucks? I think so. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Tyler. All right, we got another one. We got the Stormtrooper. It's very cool. The battery is running low, so I'm trying to run through this. 
That's a shadow trooper. Um, all right. Right, I got these guys. Um, I don't know how many there are in here, though. So let's count. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten battle droids. That's nuts. All right, cool. Uh, so we got some clone pilot action over here. Very nice. Um, this is the 2008 clone pilot that came in gunships and a bunch of other things. So we'll stack him behind the bomb squads. Hopefully there are no more of those, by the way. Yo, wait a minute. I forgot about these. <laughs> There's an entire bag full of droids and mandos. Nah, that, that's crazy. That's crazy. I did not expect us. I forgot <laughs> how big this bag was. Man. No, that's that's nuts. And then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven battle droids on top of the ten. What what else is in here? Another Obi Wan? No. What? That's a that's a that's too much. All right, so we had to load a new battery into the camera. But dude, what? When did this happen? Uh, let's keep going because. I don't know how much longer on this battery because I didn't finish charging it. We have a clone Senate Commando, or maybe just a regular Senate Commando. Uh, this is like the classic one though. This isn't the Battle Pack one because you can tell because it doesn't have leg printing. Oh uh, man, that is a that is an iconic boy right there. I'm not gonna put him in front of there. I'm just like paranoid we're gonna get another bomb. Oh my gosh, there it is. Bomb Squad Trooper. Bro, <laughs> what? All right, we also have another I thought I only had one of these. There are two clone commanders. Oh, that's sick. Oh, that's so sick. Man, I, I don't even know how many there are here. We got another Wookiee, which I just completely goofed on and dropped. Uh, this is actually Chewie, the Wookiee. Like not like some random Wookiee, it's Chewbacca. I think before like the Wookiee gunship and all those sets came out in like 2014, um, there was only like Chewbacca and there was like this one other version of a Wookiee and Chief Tarful. Like that was it. Um, there were like three different variants of Wookiee and there was none others. So I will put him with the aliens, I guess, with the, the Tuscans and those guys. So we'll put that there. Very nice. All right, 501st. There we go. Cool. All right, here we go. 501st, let's do it. Back here. That's our fourth 501st trooper. All right, we're, th we're thinning out. Ooh. Oh, that's class. That is Asajj Ventress from the Clone Wars. Um, is there printing on the torso legs? No. But this is a, uh, a 2008 variant. I don't think I own this one. Uh, so I'm going to put that next to Obi-Wan. That is a nice minifig. I think I remember getting that, actually. We also have, well, while I'm at it, we've dug. Like, I showed him in the previous video, because I thought I could make a funny joke about it. We also have, B what's his name? A D O. sounds kind of like B-O, which is a little weird. I'm going to put him over with the droids. Um, we have a TIE pilot I've been looking at for like a while now. I just found his helmet, so we'll stick him in the back over there. Uh, no, the Stormtrooper fell again. All right, and we got another Wookiee. So this is another one of those 2014 Wookiees I was talking about. The reason they came out like this, because there was like a Wookiee gunship set, and then right after the Wookiee gunship set, they like put out like a Wookiee gunship battle pack and a Wookiee gunship micro build. Like they went in all in on a Wookiee gunship. I guess it was popular. Uh, here's Han Solo, so we'll put him in front of the Wookiees, because you know, he's kind of their friend. And then we also have another clone commando. I, is this another classic one? No, I think this is the battle pack clone commando. Yeah, because it has the leg printing and everything. This is like 2014 era. Um, clone, which is very nice. And then we also have a little Porg, which we'll put with the Doug. And we have some pieces in here, like this. Uh, you can see we're getting the end. Ooh, we have two figures. Wait, no, I didn't realize. Wait, three figures. All right, so we have these three guys. So we have another Dark Trooper, which I kind of forgot was in there. Um, <laughs> I completely forgot was in there, actually, so that's cool. Um, then we also got another Doug. I had never owned any of these like ever and now I have two of them which is like bonkers let's get this bad boy out and he's missing an arm wait no he isn't he has both arms 
Bro, that's a W. That's a W. Uh, maybe I'll sell the other one. I, I don't I don't need two Dugs. And finally, we have uh, Cursed Anakin. I think this is the second one of those we got in here. Which, you know, I'm not going to complain. That's, that's pretty stinking cool. Now, I want to, like, gather these all up. But we have some more stuff to open. In fact, we have two whole boxes of things to open. So let's get into that. All right, so I want to go through all of these. And then maybe we'll put the rest of the boxes in a part two to this video. So in total, I got about 132 minifigures here, including all the battle droids and things like that. This means I spent about $1.90 per figure, which I think is pretty good, especially in the year 2023. You got all the clone troopers from the classic ones, like that, that arm piece alone, that shoulder and waist comma, those go for like 12 bucks. So like that's pretty good. And then all these guys for that price, the only ones where that's not like a great price is the droids, but even droids go for around $2.50 from what I've seen. And then you got like other really high value ones in there like the Kaminoan, Santa, Django, and then you get a bunch of other ones. You can really determine which ones for yourselves are really valuable. If I had to choose, I think a favorite from the lot, I really like Ventress. I, I just think she's cool because I don't own one. And the rest of them are just really neat. I'm really happy to have them. I think we got a great deal on minifigs here. Either way, we're going to be doing part two with those boxes over there. So stay tuned for that. That is fan mail and everything else. I will see you all in the next one. Remember to peace out and stay awesome.